Our aspirations and new ambitions are underpinned by two important pillars. The first is a renewed social compact, a compact where every Singaporean will get support to get through setbacks in life and to get a fair shot in life. But at the same time, everyone must do their part to work hard, make the effort to excel and uplift their families. And if they do that, the government will be there to support them every step of the way and help them, help them to get ahead. So that's the first pillar. The second pillar is a refreshed Singapore dream where we can find our own paths. We don't have to compare with one another. We can all be the best possible versions of ourselves. In other words, we can thrive and flourish on our own terms and in ways that are less prescribed and more open. So these two key pillars underpin, I believe, what Singaporeans would like to see in the future for ourselves and for Singapore. And as I said, realizing these shared goals requires a major reset, a reset in our policies, but also a reset in our attitudes and mindsets. I've embarked on visits to several districts now, and it's an, a very good opportunity for me to meet residents and to hear firsthand their perspectives and feedback. And I, I'm continuing to have dialogue sessions with different segments of society, and also through social media and press conferences like this. And I hope that through these engagements, we can help everyone in Singapore have a common picture of why the government is embarking on certain plans, where we are heading towards, and what we can all do in big and small ways to realize our shared vision together. This is the commitment from me and my team. We are here to listen to you, to understand firsthand your concerns, hopes and dreams, and to build a stronger, more meaningful connection with every Singaporean.